Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example deals with three different kinds of tickets. We have adult tickets, kids tickets, and senior tickets. And we're told that a total of 650 tickets were sold. Now the relationship between them is explained as follows. There were 20 more than three times as many adult tickets sold compared to kids tickets, and 40 less than half as many senior tickets as adult tickets. So given that there's 650 tickets sold, how many of each were sold? So we're going to let x equal something, and it will be the number of tickets for one of the three categories, either adult tickets, kid tickets, or senior tickets. And we prefer to let it be the smallest number of tickets. And it's clear that there's more adult tickets than tic kids tickets, and because the relationship between seniors and adults, it looks like the number of kids tickets is probably the smallest number. Now, if we guess wrong, it's not really a big deal, but it just makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to let x equal the number of kids tickets. Now, sometimes we get a little lazy and instead we might write something like let x equals kids. Now that's not a good thing to do because it doesn't really explain, and I'm missing an R here, it doesn't really explain what X really stands for. It stands for a number of tickets, so we should write let X equal the number of kids tickets instead of simply let X equals kids. Not a good idea. Now we need to express the number of adult tickets in terms of X. 20 more than 3 times as many. So plus 20 is 20 more and 3X is three times as many as kids tickets plus 20. 20 more than three times as many and that equals the number of adult tickets. If you wonder why I'm so walking so gingerly here, we have a kitty cat sitting right down here so I have to be careful not to step on her. All right, finally we need to express the number of senior tickets. Well, let's see here, it's compared to the number of adult tickets and it's 40 less than half as many. So 40 less is minus 40, and half as many would be one half, and of course it's reference to adult tickets, so half as many as adult tickets would be half as many as 3x plus 20. 40 less than half as many of the adult tickets equals the number of senior tickets. Okay, now we're ready to come up with an equation. If we add up all the kids tickets plus all the adult tickets plus all the senior tickets, that should add up to the total number of tickets that we have. So therefore x, the number of kids tickets, plus 3x plus 20, the number of adult tickets, plus 1 half, 3x plus 20 minus 40, the number of senior tickets equals the total number of tickets sold of 650. And now we're ready to solve for x. First we want to get rid of the 1 half, so we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. If we do that, notice the 2 needs to distribute on the x, the 3x, the 20, the whole portion right here, which is a single term, and the minus 40. So here we get 2x plus 6x plus 40. The 2 will negate to 1 half. We're left with 3x plus 20 minus 80, because 2 times minus 40 is minus 80, and that should equal 1300. Now we move all the numbers to one side, leave all the x's on this side, so here we have uh, 2x plus 6x plus 3x is equal to 1300, minus 40, when we move the 40 across, minus 20, and plus 80. Combining like terms, that would be 11x is equal to, that would be uh, 1320, and if we divide both sides by 11, it looks like x is equal to, that would be 1, that would be 2, 0, and that's correct, 120. So x equals 120. Now what does that mean? We need to go back to how we define x. Notice x is the number of kids tickets, that means we have 120 tickets. 3x plus 20. 3 times 120 is 360 plus 20 means 380. And finally, half as many minus 40. Half of 380 is 190, minus 40 is 150. 
Now, hopefully, those three together should add up to 360. So let's check. So we have 120 plus 380 plus 150. What does that equal to? That's 500 plus 150 is 650. And sure enough, that's the total number of tickets sold. So we know that we did it correctly. And that's how it's done. And here's a little kitty cat. Well, she's not so little. There you go. That's the one I've been dancing around in case you're wondering. Mm, she's not too excited, is she? All right, well, there you go. And on to the next problem.